Welcome to the ATJ Art Awards 2007 Global Vernacular, presented by Ateneo Art Gallery, Union Bank, Metro Society, Power Plant Mall, Rockwell Land, Smart Gold, and Y Style of the Philippine Star, with the support of Artisan Gallery, Common Room Networks Foundation, La Trobe University, Arts Network Asia, Timbuktu, and Absolute Vodka. In 2007, Athene Art Awards exhibition theme, Global Vernacular, is recognition and credence, acknowledging Filipino art has its own nuances, yet believing it moves beyond local context to reverberate cross-culturally. The theme realizes the question of national identity in the face of globalization and the challenge to increase the profile of Filipino art and artists abroad. Global Vernacular is conviction that Philippine art, while having its own distinctions, is not confined by it and there exists a shared visual language that renders it relevant and remarkable beyond the thin lines that now delineate global borders. Global Vernacular also calls attention to the expansion of the Ateneo Art Gallery International Studio Residency Grant, the only program of its kind organized by the Philippine Cultural Institution. 2007 marks the third year of the Ateneo Art Gallery Studio Residency Grant in Australia to be held for the first time in La Trobe University in Bendigo. This year also marks the introduction of the Ateneo Art Gallery Artisan Gallery Singapore Residency Grant and the Ateneo Art Gallery Common Room Networks Foundation Bandung Indonesia Residency Grant. Each residency provides one of three Ateneo Art Awardees with a round-trip airfare, accommodation, and work studio for three weeks, an allowance as well as an invitation to exhibit at their respective host venues. Lyle Buen Camino for A Bowtie for John Lyle, Magnet ABS, July 4 to 31, 2006. Serving up an earnest account of paternal tangling couched in the languages of music, painting, and appropriated cinematic text, Buen Camino serves an assembly of works that easily resound with personal memory. Raquel De Liola for her performance, Subsisting Sustenance, Mebuyan Series, at the 7A11D International Festival, Toronto, Canada, October 27, 2006. Raining stillness and motion, the collision of space and intervention in the Loyola's work delivers a sensorial spectacle as the multi-breasted Bagabo goddess Mebuya squirting and flinging blood-colored liquid from her bosom. Bembel de la Cruz for Measures, Finale Art Gallery, February 15 to March 6, 2007. 
De La Cruz's Trump Loy images of the aftermath of terrorist attacks and superimposed rulers bring to measure the artist's acute sense of how representation is material to the propagation of naturalized truths. Nona Garcia for Strange Familiarity, West Gallery, October 19 to 31, 2006. In this exhibition, Garcia sheds new light on the adage there is more than meets the eye through a group of paintings that cunningly draw the viewer's attention through subtle prompts that simultaneously captivate, divert, and ultimately befuddle. Nona Garcia for Girls Will Not Be Girls, Art Center Mega Mall, August 3 to 15, 2006. Garcia's work, showing the living room of the artist's studio in different states, is a play on the perpetual and the sameness that goes day after day, constructing the usual as distinct through a documentation of discrepancy and consistency. Dylan Malam for Untitled Stills, Blanc, February 16 to March 9, 2007. Investigating physical and metaphysical positioning and using the idea of home and habitat as points of orientation, Humalan's Untitled Stills is an application in perception in its rendition of interior and exterior spaces. Huawei Navarroza for Saturny, a collection of portraits, creatures, glass and shadow, Silverlands Gallery, January 18 to February 17, 2007. The richly textured and multi-layered images in Navarroza's photographs is a result of the artist's experiments with the photographic process which is for her akin to alchemy, a mixture of chemistry, spirituality, philosophy, psychology, and art, all metamorphosed into an array of visually stunning, thought-provoking, and melancholy-inducing images. Yasmin Season 4, Unmade, Magnet Paseo, May 9-27, 2006. Using media images as a basis for her paintings, Season cuts out or defaces faces and other parts of the model's bodies with a vortex of colors and texture, obscuring identities yet provoking a sense of familiarity in a test of second-hand memories. Jade Carr for Frangible Armor Piercing, a single round bolt action bow barrel. Magnet Katipunan, February 17 to March 6, 2007. 
In an aggressive and intertwined installation, Picard gathers heirlooms and tokens and slender wooden spokes as his Mickey Mouse weaponry. Catching pointed pencils and feathered arrows in mid-air, in mid-flight, in treacherous arches and curvatures, and in clear defiance of gravity. Mac Valdesco for Small Complete Units, Avaliana Art Gallery, April 14 to May 19, 2007. Captivating forms as her works are Design following the simplest principles like fractals, Valdesco indeed rides with the force of creation, creating biomorphic forms with society's detritus. Jevy Joe Vito for Capitalizing, Finale Art Gallery, March 8 to 27, 2007. They old chicks embalmed in stone hard resin, man, screaming nymphs painted in lurid detail, a stuffed dog poised at the stage. These are the other desperate elements in Vitog's installation buy for our attention. Then, just as quickly, dissolve into a sense around vista of fearsome scale. MMU for Thoughts Collected, Recollected, Finale Art Gallery, April 19 to May 9, 2007. With handmade thematic books and photographs, you challenges the boundaries between artwork and book, library and art gallery, asking the viewers to probe, consider, to investigate, and to participate. 